guys, Kalila here. Welcome to another vlog. I feel so weird filming right now because I just filmed the intro for my six month long video, which you guys will not see until July. So don't even worry about that. <laughs> you guys will see updates on the projects that I'll be working on for that video, but not really because I want to focus on different projects for these weekly vlogs. Weekly vlogs? Yes, I plan on doing weekly vlogs, okay? My sister Kahila, she is a very mm, meticulous, meticulous, meticulous person. She likes to schedule things down to the T. I don't. I like when other people come up with ideas and I execute it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm executing her ideas and using it for myself, okay? She's posting a vlog every week, so I'll post a vlog every week. It's gonna motivate me to continue knitting. I mean, I don't need motivation to continue knitting, but it's gonna motivate me to post what I'm knitting more often. December, I took like a little break, okay? I didn't feel like posting, honestly. I posted one video yesterday. Oh, it's January 1st, by the way. 2023 happy new year y'all and yeah this month i'm going to blast content okay because i have so many projects that i want to do first of all you know i have that new year drive second of all and also i want to wear my stuff so i gotta get i gotta start doing it you know the project that i'll be working on this week will be a pair of socks so if you guys don't know, Kate from Red Door Fiber Studio is doing a beefy sock make along that if you don't understand, you have to go to her page on Instagram to understand the beef, beefy part. Okay. But it's going to be the beefy make along 2023 and we're just going to make socks. It can be for the entire year. It can be crochet socks. It could be knit socks. It's going to be great. So Kahila and I decided to... Well, we already planned on knitting socks using her yarn, but now it's even better because it's going to be part of her make along as well. And I'm just like, oh my God. So this is Kahila's yarn. This is my yarn. They're literally the same. I'm just saying which one is mine and which one is hers because you know, when you have a claim on something, you just see it as yours. But this is called Cauldron Boil Me. It's from the Akatar collection and it's a one of a kind. We saw this. Oh, I said this in my last video and you guys will actually remember it if you watched it. We saw it and we snatched it up. It is 40% Superwash Merino, 40% Kid Mohair, and 20% Nylon. 437 yards and it is a 100 gram hank. So I'm going to wind this up literally right now and we're going to start on the Everyday Socks by Petite Knit. I haven't done no socks before. The only other sock that I've done besides Vanilla Socks by The Crazy Sock Lady are the Sunday socks by Petite Knit, which was a DK weight sock. So easy, so big, so quick, because those on four millimeter needles. For this sock, it calls for 2.5 millimeter needles. And I have not made socks using 2.5 millimeter needles before. I always use 2.25, so this is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna be using these Addy needles that Alexandra got me for my birthday in Sweden. It is the 25 centimeter one and it's like one side is long and the other side is short. And so it's, it's better, I guess, ergonomically for your hands. And I'm excited to try it out. I have not tried this before, but I hear people rave about it all the time. I do not have a problem with normal nine inch circulars and you know, with it being the same length, but I'm interested to know if I see this as a better alternative to the other one. I'll still use the other one because I will always do 2.25 needles on my vanilla socks, but this is exciting. Anyway, let's wind some stuff. Wine? Let's wind some stuff up and get started knitting.
Okay, just finished winding up Kahila's yarn. I just have mine left to do. Look at how different the yarn looks sometimes when you actually wind it up. It's like you can see more color. Anyway, I'm gonna wind up mine and then I will get started on the sock. I'm excited to use these needles. And I'm excited to do a new pattern because I haven't done it before, so that's fun. Also, I got some threader earrings and it's honestly so cool. Yeah, that has nothing to do with this video, but I just thought it was cool. Anyway, bye! Hey, it is currently nighttime. It's like almost 8 p.m. And this is all <laughs> that I've gotten done today. I had to recast on. Okay, this is what, there we go. I had to recast on the sock because I cast it on the wrong side because this needle has a long side and a short side and I needed to cast on the short side. But I don't know how I feel about this needle just yet because I feel like I haven't really gotten into a rhythm with anything since I just started the stockinette section of the sock. But tomorrow I should get a lot more done and... I'm actually looking forward to see how this continues to work up. I can see the halo from the mohair in this so far, and I am loving it, okay? But I'm gonna put this up for the night. I'm going to go to bed. I'll probably write down some to-do lists for tomorrow so that I can remind myself of what I need to do for the day. And then, I think I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. My sister and mom have planned it for the third, but I think they're changing it to the second. So, I'm going to get white tips, I believe. Let me see. I wrote down a list. Nails. Friendship colors. Yes, January is white. I have a whole... <laughs> list of French tip colors for the whole year so that I want French tips. I only want French tip nails, but for it to feel like I have different nails, I always change the different colors. December was red for Christmas, and now I'm going to get white for January because it's winter. So, you know, snow, new year, fresh, whatever. And then... I'll be knitting basically all day. So that is it. I'm gonna write some stuff down and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
this around me all day, Onyx. You're so cute. You want to use rubbers on my sock? I literally, I was literally here ignoring my strap swinging. Wait, let me just grab it. Okay. I was literally here this morning. Now I'm here. I'm almost done with the leg. Then I'll be at the toe. Then I'll be able to start the second sock. I'm not going to get second sock syndrome. I'll talk about this heel more tomorrow. But good thoughts, good thoughts. Hello, guys. So, today, I want to start a new project. I know. Oh my gosh. I literally had a whole plan with like doing my socks and then doing my dress and then doing this and doing that. But I want to do a hat. Why? Because Petite Knit just came out with a weekend hat and I freaking love it. It's literally the best ribbed hat. Like I read through the pattern already. Of course, it's short. It's a hat. So I read through the pattern and I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted. I like the Pearl Soho hat, but... I just feel like it's not what I actually want. So that's why I never really continued making the Pro Soho Classic Rib Hat or the, the other one because there's just something about it that I was just like, I don't really care for how this is. I think it was the, de the decreases at the top kind of mm, put me off on it. But reading this pattern, I'm like, ooh. I think this may be it. And also the way the Pearl Soho hat fit on my head, I didn't like that. I didn't like how it fit on my head. And I like the way the weekend hat looks. So hopefully that'll be a hat that I'll like. So I'll try that pattern out. I'll, I also want to do a, an Oslo hat. Kahila wants to do one as well. But anyway, update on my sock, okay? Update on the sock. I got a lot done yesterday. So I was getting my hair done yesterday. I got the same hair, so, you know, just fresh braids now. And I was working on my sock at the same time. Well, in between my cats sleeping on me because there was a heater in front of me. So I guess they really liked the heater and they just wanted to sleep on me the entire day. And I'm like, I'm trying to knit cats, okay? If you have pets, you understand, all right? So... This is how far I have gotten on my sock. I'm literally almost done with the foot of the sock. And then I will just have the toe to do, which I'm not doing that today because I'm going to start on a hat today. Anyway, the heel construction. This is a German short row heel and it's constructed to look like a store-bought sock. And this... Let me tell you, when I first read through it, because I didn't read through the entire pattern, I usually read through the beginning part of the pattern and make sure I understand that, and then I get started because I'm like, if I start it and then I run into and then I run into a difficult part, I can find a way to get some motivation to figure out what to do since I already started the project. So I read through it, fine. I looked at the German short row part. The beginning of the ger German short row part was easy to understand. I was like, mm, is this what I'm supposed to do? And then I thought about how it was constructed. And I'm like, okay, I think I'm, I know where it's going. So after the first part of shaping the heel, I was like, okay, cool. Then the next part of shaping the heel, I was like, is this right? Because if it's right, that means I'm doing German short rows on top of the German short rows. And I was like, how would that even look? But of course, I need to stop overthinking things and just literally follow the pattern because obviously the designer knows what she's talking about, Petite Knit, because these are the everyday socks. And I'm like, all right, all right, it's fine. Just do it. And when I did it, oh, it turned out so good. I'm so proud. This is my first time constructing a heel like this because as you guys know, I usually do the Vanilla Socks by Crazy Sock Lady. I accidentally made a little hole right here. I don't care. I was, I did care at first. I was like, oh, this is so big, so obvious. And then I was like, do I actually care that much? No, I don't because these are gonna be on my feet and I'm not gonna pay attention to them. So I was gonna sew, sew it up and everything. I'm like, I don't care, honestly, I really don't. So that's how this is going. 
The needles, I'm getting used to the needles. At first I didn't like them because first of all, I wish they were pointier. Oh my gosh, trying to go through the German short rows, like to knit over the German short rows for the heel, pain, a pain. It was so annoying. I'm gonna use my 2.5 nine inch for the next pair of socks that I do for the everyday socks and see how it compares. But so far I am getting used to how this has, a, there's a longer one and a shorter one because all I do is move my right needle to pick up my stitches, which is cool. But yeah, it's, I am enjoying this so much so far. It is so seamless compared to the every, everyday sock, this is everyday sock, compared to vanilla socks, because vanilla socks, the heel is a slip stitch heel. So, you know, you slip stitch, you pick up the gussets and then you decrease and it, oh my God, this is like nothing. It's like knitting a hat. So I like this. I like this a lot. When I do finish both pairs of socks, I will give my verdict on which construction I like more, which I find easier, and which I prefer the shape of because it is kind of a different shape compared to the socks I usually knit. Anyway, let's forget that, all right? Forget that, all right? Sorry, socks. You're gonna go on the side. Socks are a side project anyway for me, so it's fine. Remember this yarn? Yeah. So this yarn, Drop Slima, the white one, was used for my Stockholm slipover, pretty sure. And this one, this Drop Slima, as you guys are familiar with, was used for the Monday sweater that I made for my mom. I'm making hats with these, okay? I was gonna make some sort of striped something, slipover, cropped sweater, no. Mm -mm. Nay, nay, I say. <laughs> if you watch Bailey, you understand. I'm gonna make hat, okay? I'm gonna start with the white yarn since I just used this color yarn, I'm not gonna feel very motivated. But I'm gonna use this yarn right here. I'm gonna need like three skeins, I have four. So I'm gonna use this to start off. And I am just so excited. I love casting on new projects, okay? I cannot wait. If you're not familiar with Drop Slima, it is a very beautiful yarn. It's a DK weight yarn. The hat is DK weight. And it is 50 grams, 109 yards. It's 65% wool and 35% alpaca so very very soft and it is also getting cold here okay it's january it's now feeling like winter it's been raining all week okay all week i am so happy because it usually does not rain at all you know this is one in 30 days of rain that we usually get in a year so i'm excited for that i'm gonna make this hat and i can't wait to see how it turns out okay I'm talking a lot. Show me what you got. Stop. Sweat. Okay, sorry. High school musical. Anyway, I'm going to cast on this hat. I need 3.5 millimeter needles on a 16 inch circular. So I think I'm going to use my bamboo needles. Okay. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Where? Where are my needles? Oh, so many project bags right here. Okay, not it. No. Where's, where's my other one? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot it was black. I thought it was like a brown color, so I'm looking for a brown bag. I mean, brown case, but my brown case is my nitpicks one. Okay, anyway, since my Takumi bamboo needles comes with 16 inch, a 16 inch cord, that's what I'll use for this hat. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, 3.5, 3.75. Three point five. All right, on these super tiny needles. But listen, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, it's gonna be worth it. 
telling you. So this is the 16 inch. Well, it's not a 16 inch cord. It's going to make a 16 inch circumference. I'm going to make the large hat because I don't care if my hat is big or not. You know, that means more people can wear it. So I'm going to start finally. Stop rambling. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I don't know. What is today? Today is Thursday, which means which means tomorrow is going to be the last day that I film because I'm going to also edit. And we'll see how far I get in this project. This video will probably be a little shorter, but it's fine because I'll be posting vlogs every single week. So I think it's fine if these videos are not as long as like my previous hour long vlogs. Okay, because you'll be getting way more content than usual. See ya. Hey guys, it is the next day and where's my, oh, today is Malika's birthday. She is 23 today. Malika is Mr. Bobden, my sister, and she's 23 today. So we're going out as a family to eat dinner. Ooh, not dinner. That was so wrong. Usually it's a dinner, right? You know, birthday dinner. No, it's like a lunch, brunch, whatever, because it is currently 9 a.m., we're leaving in like an hour ish but let me show you what i have so far i don't have a lot okay this is the bag that i'm going to go out with it is my moot bag and i have the project that i'm working on which is the weekend hat by petite knit this is what i have so far i just worked on it a little bit last night you probably can't even say but i decided to go with the white because it's gonna be a hat, so I want something that's neutral, kind of goes with everything. And also, I don't like white garments, so I'm gonna make white accessories. Accessories? Accessories? I have an extra ball of yarn, which I don't think I'll use, but listen. Some things you can't plan for, and I'm not about to be yarnless, you know, just in case. Hold on. There is black fluff on my yarn. Oh no, it's the inside of this bag that's doing it. See, this is why I don't like white yarn. <laughs> uh, whatever, honestly. Okay, so that's what's going to be in there. I'm going to put my camera in there as well. My AirPods and anything else? No. Anyway, I'm wearing my Chunky Dahlia that I knitted. It is by Lenit. It is you it was made using Kus by Sendiscarn and Sendiscarn Tin Silk Mohair. I started this in Sweden with Kahila and Alexandra, and Kahila and I are wearing it today. Actually, let me go get Kahila right quick. Kahila? She's downstairs, so I'll just bring you guys downstairs with me. I might as well go there anyway. Ooh, let me bring my candle just in case, okay? 
It's me. Hi. Oh no, it's me. Chunky Dahlia. Chunky Dahlia. Wow, we really do look alike. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. If you had glasses like me, we would look exactly alike. Shit, y'all don't even need that. Yeah, recording. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Ooh. Yeah, so here's my version. Here is mine. Yum, yum. Oh, this yarn is so good. Right? Oh, it looks so yeah. rustic. Mm. I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah, so okay. we yeah. decided to wear knits. Yeah. It's like 49 degrees outside. I forgot to tell my people I'm wearing my Chunky Dahlia. Did I tell them that? I don't, I don't know. even know. Well, we're going to her video. So if you want to see that part, check out her video. Crochet with Kate. Yeah. Is that Onyx? Where? Oh my god! <laughs> you must be here for that. Probably. Bye. I mean, I'm them. Um, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Malik. Happy birthday to you. Why do you have grids? So it could tell me if it's centered or not. You care? No. I did it on accident. I just never turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're at the park. Look us taking pictures. And the Tessie, Tessie Yessie. Yes and we have been driving. Yeah. We haven't been driving, on, honestly. I got it, got it. Yeah, We've just been angling. Like like but the sun is hitting me very nicely. I can barely see. Are you going to drive? My dad and brother are down there paying for parking. You'll probably see them. Mm, they did adjust. Yeah, you'll see them when they come back. eating. Now we're just out walking around. <laughs> BNN. Oh, 
course you got Coho over here. You gotta have Coho. trying to be vloggy aesthetically pleasing so she can record me looking at books. I don't read any of these. I read romance and sci-fi. Yeah. And fantasy. Yeah. 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 You know where the mystery and thriller section is. Hey. Hold on. Hey, this is not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So much. Malika, this is his recording. <laughs> Birthday girl! We left! How long has it been going with no baby? Yeah! You gotta come tell me now! Shady! Lately, baby! dark hairs down from that tall ponytail and also I dropped my phone in the toilet no there was nothing in the toilet it just fell out my back pocket unfortunate I'm blow-drying it right now let's hope that it doesn't get water damage anyway I'm so tired even though it's just 6 p.m. I feel like being out took all of my energy drained me but I'm not going to bed. Hello? I want to knit, okay? Look at all the progress that I have so far. I feel like I knitted a lot. Maybe I can... Hold on. I'm doing virtual... playing virtual villagers right now. If you don't know virtual villagers, then I'm probably old. Okay, I'm not old. But it's a very old game. It came out in like 2005 or something. Anyway, I got this much progress let's get a snapshot of what it looked like before i left so let's have this up here and then another picture or something there yes kalila i'm making you do work okay put that picture in edit all right i got this much done how much is that i do not know actually let me measure it i need like 10 centimeters or something which is four inches so I'm at seven centimeters. You probably can't even see. But I am currently exactly at seven centimeters, so I just need three more centimeters and I will be done with this section. What is three centimeters for me in the rounds? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine rounds basically ten let's let's go with ten i like to go with more than less than less so that's what i'm going to do i'm gonna get a row counter and start working on this hat because i want to get a lot of progress done okay i am going to actually hmm, i'm going to finish off this video like tomorrow morning or so and then start the new vlog on Sunday so what's today Friday yeah I was supposed to end the vlog today but since I want to knit more I'll just end it tomorrow literally edit it tomorrow post it tomorrow so the day that you're seeing this is literally the day that I edited it edited it but I don't have a problem with that because I don't think this video is going to be that long anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the little outing that we had. Oh my gosh, that restaurant that we went to. I think it was like a Middle Eastern restaurant. There was just so much food. We got a carousel something, like carousel meal. So they just kept bringing food and more food 
and more food and more food i had quail for the first time it was good it's a weird tasting meat but it wasn't like, it wasn't disgusting or anything. It was actually pretty good. Everything was seasoned so nicely. We actually had to bring some food home because there was just so much food. But I enjoyed it. And I'm just, I'm just excited to get to knitting because I really want this beanie, okay? I want this hat. It looks so good. I keep seeing pictures on Instagram and I'm just like, I want it now. I'm probably going to watch the Lakers game later as well and just keep on having my little virtual villagers on in the background so i will talk to you guys in the morning bye been knitting all day basically okay I've been knitting on and off all day okay and I've taken a lot of breaks so I mean I got to where I wanted to get to and then I was reading over the pattern and I realized it's kind of just the same thing over and over so I can't really show progress because it will look the same okay it will just look bigger so I finished this section and I have to do something, but I'm not gonna say because this will pay for a pattern. And then I'll probably continue with ribbing until I get to like the decrease section. And then you'll really, really be able to see some progress on the hat. But I think that's all that I'm going to get done in this video because I do wanna edit it and post it. So I'll just show you the progress of both of my projects that I've done in this very very simple vlog video i have this sock here which is the everyday sock of course with the german short row heel which i absolutely love and i am almost done with the foot and uh, getting close to the toe but i stopped this of course to work on the weekend hat that just came out both are petite knit projects of course and oh my gosh so you know how i said i was gonna do the monday sweater with this yarn i think i'm gonna do the louvre wait i didn't tell you guys that did i maybe it was my other video i don't know i think i'm gonna start the louvre with this one but first i'm gonna finish my socks i'm gonna finish my hat and then i'm gonna finish my cargill and i'm gonna finish my dress okay i have to finish all these before i start on another project <sighs> we'll see i want to start this before january is over though so hopefully let's say next week since the this week is ending i want to get both of these socks done i want to finish this hat and i want to do the dress i do not feel like going to the cargill right now so I'm gonna finish the hat, then finish the socks, and then finish my dress, and then get back to the Cargill. And the Cargill should take me probably a week, because I have two sleeves to do, and I'm pretty sure I will go very slowly on them. And then by that time, it should be like the one, two, three, the third week, fourth week, one, two, fourth week in January, because January has like almost five weeks. And hopefully start on the Louvre by then. If not, no, no, I will. I will. I should. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what projects you guys worked on this week. I am doing weekly vlogs, so 
like I said before, these videos will probably be a little shorter than my past vlogs, but it's fine because you'll be getting more content. And also you'll be updated on my projects that I'll be working on. Will I do podcasts? I feel like my podcasts will probably come once a month because I do not care to do videos where I just sit down and talk for an hour, honestly. I don't mind them, but I don't care to do them at this moment. I'm not really feeling them, and since I'm doing these weekly vlogs where you guys get updated on what projects I'm doing anyway, I feel like a podcast would kind of be redundant, but it's a, I think it'll be a good wrap-up for like the month. So I think I'll start doing monthly podcasts, It'll just be like a wrap up of all the projects I worked on in that month. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. Anyway, that's all I have. And I'll see you guys next week with another one. Bye.